First thing you're gonna have to give me is community. You're gonna have to give me curation, and you're gonna have to give me configuration. The three C's, that is the genesis, right? Hi, everybody. Isn't it nice to be in the world of cannabis? Yes! Ooh! Ooh! That's how I feel about it. Um, <laughs> so, Lulu said, come, speak to the people, share the wisdom. You're an interior designer, you're in the game. What can you share for people who are getting their licenses and who are ready to open up their doors, who have the big dream, the big entrepreneurs? And the question really became, what would it take for me to leave my guy? Okay, that's the question. What would it take for me to leave my guy and make your shop, make your brand, my brand, right? Because I have to tell you, my guy is dope. <laughs> he knows my schedule, he knows my strains, he knows my dog, because he delivers to my door. I could wear sweatpants. Do you know what I'm saying? It's very easy with my guy. So what is gonna make me put on real pants and come to your shop, not just once, but like over and over and over again? What's it gonna take to get me to be a regular for you? And so I, I thought deeply about it, like deep, with a little assist for some Durban poison, deep, right? And uh, I am thrilled to report to you that I have the answer. I know what it'll take. It's gonna take three things, okay? First thing you're gonna have to give me is community. The second, yeah, let's hear it for community. Yes. yes. Community. You're gonna have to give me curation and you're gonna have to give me configuration. The three C's, the three C's, okay? And I know some of you are like, damn, Kim, can't you just tell us what color to paint? <laughs> but interior design is deeper than paint. That is the truth. And there's a reason I start with community because this is a communal plant. That is the genesis, right? And community, to me, as your client, as your prospective client, that's you seeing me, you valuing me and giving me a sense of community because I will tell you, I've spent 25 years going to dispensaries looking my, for my forever home, right? My forever dispenser. I'm gonna find that shop. In Cali, I'm gonna find that shop. In Colorado, I'm gonna find that's my spot. That's for me, it's my people. And generally speaking, over 25 years, there have been, I think, two or three shops that I made my own. Only two or three. And the reason it didn't stick for me at the other shops is because they did not make me community. They did not plug into community, and I wasn't their community, right? And so, yes, that is key. That is so important. I want to feel like you care. And community for you as the operator, it's more than just your vendors, it's more than just the people that are all here, we are all like-minded folks. It's the guy that runs the bodega on the corner. It's the woman who runs the hair shop across the street. They may not have big cannabis leaves emblazoned on their foreheads, but I promise you, they are your community. The other part of your community is what I like to call like OG influencers. They are not on the gram. Okay, your OG influencers, it's the FDNY, <laughs> it's the Department of Buildings, it's your community board. You plug into your community and you think of it this way, you think of it as the deeper your roots go, the more nutrients you can draw into your business, right? And the richer the offering is for me as the person who's deciding whether to leave my guy, 
right? I want to come in, and if I feel there is community there, and if you have done the work, it will be there for me as your client. I will feel connected. I will feel that by proxy, I have earned a rich community through you, right? So popping in to earn your buck, that is not the way to scale. <laughs> Diving into your community, that is the key. Okay, so community, curation. Oh my God, curation. Uh, I made over a shop on my show, High Design. So High Design was my show on Discovery Plus. I created it, I executive produced it, I starred in it. And the whole purpose was to travel America making over dispensaries for entrepreneurs, for mom and pops who were smaller scale, right? And what's fascinating is that one of the shops, the owner, their whole thing, it was like, we have all the weed. All the weed, all the weed, everything you could want, we have it, you don't have to go anywhere else, we have 1,600 SKUs. It's a shit show, <laughs> right? Like, that is chaos, that is visual chaos, that was systems chaos, but tenders didn't know where things were, and the kick in the pants is that actually of 1,600 SKUs, maybe 700 were really in play. Everything else was taking up space that should be earning money and collecting dust. So who are they serving? The curation brings you back to the community, right? Because you get right on tight on your community. It helps you curate your offerings and your care. It helps you curate and know who your client is, right? And then to stock to that versus stocking to the big dream. And I'm an entrepreneur. I know we come at it and we come in hot <laughs> and we have big ideas and we know how it's gonna look and da, 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 da. it's, you know, it's what Colby said. Know your neighborhood, know where you are, know the community, know who you serve. If you do that, if you know your community and you curate for that, that is the DNA of what your retail experience will need to be. Okay, that's part of the, the secret sauce. Because knowing those things will dictate and define the flow of your retail space. I can't come in, my partner Kelly Moore can't come in, Miles Moore, our firm, we can't come in and help you if you don't know what it is you are trying to achieve, if you don't know your why. We always hear that, right? Like, what's the why, why are you in it? I'm in it to sell weed is not a why, right? That does not count, you have to go deeper than that. So really, really key, knowing the community Letting that lead you to curation, which then leads you to configuration, the three C's. And uh, honestly, configuration, it's really just design. I like alliteration, and I was trying to come up with like, I wanted the three C's, I really wanted the three C's. I was like, there is a word for design that starts with a C, configuration. But really, it's design, okay? And let me tell you something, that was the huge, huge inspiration for me to create my show. Because I have spent almost 30 years dropping serious coin in places that look like a dumpster fire. In any other retail sector, in any other retail sector, the kind of money that I drop, when I walk in, people would know my name, they would give me champagne, and they'd offer me a seat, right? So taking that ethos to our community, your chosen community, that ethos of you're my community, I see you, I care. I know what you're here for, I know what you're here to treat. You are familiar to me, you are valuable to me. That makes me feel like the money that I am spending is meaningful. You're doing the work for me, right? And so it lets me adopt you as mine. That's the key. And I tell you, I have hunted, I have hunted, I have hunted. And like I said, it's why I started a firm, because I just felt like, you know, it's endless, the search. It's like, what's that song? This, the, oh, God, Lisa Stansfield. I've been around the world, and I, I, I. Yeah. Gen X, thank you very much. Yes. That's it, I've been around the world, I can't find my baby. Why don't you be my baby? Be my baby. 
That's what I want. That's all I want. That's what your clients want. And I'm telling you, interior design is the last thing on people's list. I know it's expensive. You have your license. You have your real estate. You have things. You are busy. There's no money. But it is to your detriment not to prioritize the space that you are selling the product in. If you are not giving me an immersive experience, however that looks for your brand, whatever that visual language is for your brand, if I am walking into a shop that's just like every other shop on the block, why are you special? I might come once because you have good flour. I might come twice because you're kind of nice. Three times, no, there's no there there. Why am I getting dressed for you? I don't need to, right? So something to think about, and people are shocked, your budget. All in for your brick and mortar, 10% of that should be dedicated to design. It's foundational. It is the last thing people think of. And guess what? Everybody that hires me to help them, if they're not starting out, if, they're if I'm coming in, if Kelly and I are coming in and we are helping to make over, it's because sales have stagnated. It's because there are no new clients coming through the door, right? Because there's no new offering. There's no new offering, there's, there's no experience. And the clients are smart, clients are educated, consumers are educated, we expect an experience. We expect the brand to speak to us. That's how you're going to get me. That's how I'm gonna leave my guy, is that you're speaking specifically to me, whatever that means. And I'll tell it to you right now. If any of you end up in meetings with my firm and you come to me and you say you want us to make it look like an Apple store, no. No. This is a caregiving plant. This is a communal plant. Apple Store was a great place to start with MedMen in 2017, but it's 2023. It's about boutique. It's about drilling into your brand story, your offering, getting really specific and finding that niche that you can crawl into and then expand it crack it open. And that's why I wanted to speak today because I am so grateful that all of you are getting into this to crack it open. We are in this to move the needle, right? What I want for the New York market, what I want for myself, if I'm coming to your shop, I want this plant elevated. I want it destigmatized, and that will require you to have a space that speaks to that, right? So thank you. Thank you for having your hearts in it. Thank you for putting your lives in it. If you need design help, you can call me. I will help you. But in the meantime, focus, focus, focus. Community, curation, configuration, I promise. You do the first two things, it is going to help you get to the third. You will be running more of an Occam's razor, straight line, none of the zigzag, none of the mess, none of the wasted time that comes with entrepreneurship. That is built in, but if you follow this strategy, I promise you, it will save you. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today is so inspiring. I want to thank Revelry, everybody who's on this stage. It's so amazing to me as somebody who came of age in the 80s that I'm standing in a public institution talking about the weed business. That's, I'm like, I, you know, <laughs> that's amazing. It's amazing. I, I was a dare officer. Yeah, I was in Nancy Reagan's army. <laughs> So I call this progress. Thank you.